between the lines. Three, two, one, go. Semi-final one, match number one. Big Bad Bob starting us out. They've got a hatch panel on the front of the cargo ship for Blue right out of the gate. 195 Cyber Knights did the same thing for Red. Almost time for Sandstorm to be up right about now. It's time for Teleop right already. 2168, unfortunately missing a hatch panel they were trying to grab from the human player station. It's those small mistakes that might end up costing them, but there's a lot of time in this match. However, 195 wants to prevent the Blue Alliance from scoring any easy points. The Cyber Knights are now up against Big Bad Bob, who was able to score a cargo into the cargo ship even without, even with some heavy defense. A minute and 40 seconds left in this match. 2056 has hatch panels on the first level of their rocket. Now they're working on cargo. Meanwhile, the Beak Squad is playing defense up against Symbotics, who's trying to score a hatch panel on the rocket for the Red Alliance. And, you know, knocking down a referee tablet in the process. A minute and 20 seconds remaining in the match. 2056 maneuvering around the Beak Squad to try to grab another hatch panel from the human player station. While 2168 Aluminum Falcons are going to work and are doing so successfully of placing cargo after cargo in the rocket and the cargo ship. We have just under a minute in this match and these two alliances are neck in neck. 195 lining up, they've got another cargo in the rocket for red. Meanwhile, 319 has two levels of a rocket done. Their partner, Aluminum Falcons, is working on the second level of a rocket for the Blue Alliance as well. 35 seconds remaining in the match. It looks like 1114 is out of commission. That's gonna hurt the Red Alliance, especially since Cyber Knights just knocked loose a hatch panel and when they were trying to score a piece of cargo. 15 seconds remaining in the match. 2056 is lining up to climb on Hab level three. Meanwhile, so is 4028. OP Robotics is up with five seconds remaining. 195 is up on level two. So is 319, two, one. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, we do have a score for that match. We also have a card being assigned to the Blue Alliance for violating C1, which is a rule that prohibits egregious behavior for defense against another alliance or another robot. The referees felt that the actions by the Blue Alliance were egregious, and so they deemed that the Blue Alliance will be awarded a yellow card for their actions during that match. And with that, we do have a score. It is the Blue Alliance with a score of 111 to 89. That means that our number five alliance is currently has an advantage over the number one alliance. Quite an upset, even with that yellow card. Congrats to our number five alliance, and we'll see how the next matchup between these two teams shake out the next time they face each other.